Hello everybody, I have with me here Lenis from Borong.com Wow, Lenis, I don't want to waste time. I really want to hear a little bit of your uh, story, all right? So, how did you even start at Borong.com? So, the idea of Borong came about because I was inspired by my grandfather actually. Like, he was a micro business owner. Uh, he started a sundry store. And I've watched, uh, I've heard stories of him struggling um, to actually grow his business by actually being credible enough to get better pricings from suppliers and even his hardships in getting banked by financing institutions. So because of that, um, it inspired me to figure out how to utilize and leverage on technology um, to actually give micro and small businesses the tools to be able to be credible enough for both suppliers and financing institutions so that they're able to grow their business better grow their business easily by finding the right product at the right price from the right partners. Mm. So you mentioned about your grandfather. Maybe you can go back a little bit as in where you grew up and then where you're from. Yeah. You know, your primary school, secondary, and then did you, did you even, you know, graduate? You know, because a lot of successful people are their dropouts, you know. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I am not one of the, uh, the, the, the few or that dropouts from there. I'm actually, I grew, I was born and bred in Klang. Um, I graduated uh, with a bachelor's degree um, in commerce in Melbourne University. Um, I'm your typical books, study hard, work hard, that kind of a person, just mainly because I've a, I grew up with a tiger mom, right? So um, the goal for me also is to actually do my best in every single thing that I do. Um, and that's why like in whatever projects or any associations parts that I've contributed my time and energy on, the goal is for me to actually give as much as I can to the best of my ability. How, how, how did you even got inspired to, to start? I mean, like what you shared earlier that, you know, it was from your grandfather, but maybe you should share a bit of the detail from looking at your grandfather. How did you even get into where Borong.com is now? Um, I was, I have always been in tech uh, ever since I graduated from university. So whether it's working with a multinational company called Yelp to even venture building and uh, build startups or tech companies uh, for sale um, for the last many, many years. So in essence, the whole idea is, is that like I do, I was at the right point at the right time with the right networks in trying to figure out how can I utilize and leverage on innovation to support MSMEs to grow. So what, what was the big thing that you do to make you successful today? I think like I practice one philosophy in mind, right? In, in, in everything that I do, take a step back, take a deep breath and jump. Take a leap of faith. Um, don't be afraid to fall. Be, just keep doing things and in hopes that knowing that you figure the way around. So I think um, it doesn't, by, by doing that, doesn't mean that it doesn't come with its trials and tribulations. There's a lot of like errors and, and things that I've made. But I believe that through those errors and mistakes, it made me a better person to, to learn more and get that, those things as feedbacks to become who I am today. Share a bit uh, the milestone of the, of your, of the borong.com. Yeah. Uh, as in like, <clears throat> when you started, you started and then started with who and then yeah. how many of you and then where are you today? Yeah. So, so Boron.com, uh, originally, we are formerly known as Droppy. So we started in 2017. Um, there's three of us that founded the company. So myself, uh, two other co-founders. Um, and all three of us, uh, we started this as a B2B platform, as a B2B wholesale marketplace. And the goal was to actually figure out how can we digitize wholesale trading by encouraging mom and pop stores to transact and find the right suppliers online. Um, and then that whole idea and the technology has evolved to the extent where we now provide the tools, wholesale tools, to distributors, wholesalers and brands to serve mom and pop stores, millions of mom and pop stores across Malaysia and Southeast Asia in an easier, better and faster way. Um, over the last two years, and I think two and a half years ago, we've experienced the worst thing humankind could ever experience, right? Pandemic. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, you numpa like so shocked what I say pandemic. You experience it too, right? <laughs> yeah. We're all in the same boat. But 
like because we we've experienced pandemic and a lot of businesses were affected by that especially the micro and small businesses um, in terms of cash flow so that's also the one of the reasons why we started working with in the last two years we started working with banks and financing institutions to create tailored curated products micro and small business financing products so that they are able to access that in a faster way instead of having all these documents and waiting for months even years to be financed with us less than three days and with no collaterals you're able to actually be financed through our platform first of all in in the in your business uh, industry right there is a it's a it's a huge competition i'm sure how did you even um make yourself different and you know keep yourself afloat and because it's a difficult space you're in i think um the key for us is to be laser focused in really understanding our customers and users that we serve at the end of the day the goal was to actually support mom and pops to grow but we know that we can't do this alone so we started building ecosystem and communities around it which means suppliers and also work with banks who are equally interested and align their vision mission together with us to serve the mom and pop stores and that's what we do and we are very strong in figuring out how can we write how can we work with the right partners to serve the ultimate target audience that we want which is the MSMEs would you be able to share with us uh what are the numbers that that you are serving right now yeah so all across we are a regional company while we are proudly born and bred uh, in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia we currently are across uh, Southeast Asia and we operate in Malaysia Indonesia we serve and have businesses that we facilitate wholesale transactions up to 200,000 of them on our platform uh, and the number of transactions that we we are very fortunate to facilitate is close to 2 billion US dollars so um, i think we're 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 very fortunate and grateful that we have built trust and create a product that a lot of these MSMEs have loved and our journey is not has not stopped there yet and we're excited to continuously serve this market even more I'm sure a lot of ladies out there viewing this video they would like to know if you would have any mentor Do you have share with us um I do uh, I do have mentors um a few of them actually um and i think one of uh, the most prominent mentors in my life has been my uncle um we 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 talk a lot and it wasn't an official title or an official thing that he says i'm going to be your mentor one day right it was just a it started from a basic innocent conversation as an uncle to a niece to talk about life and work and everything and philosophy and then it escalated into something that we practice on a weekly basis so Yeah. Apart of work from work, how how do you make yourself um, happy and having a good life and having a balance in, in whatever you're doing now? Um, the key here is to do checkpoints with yourself. Rem- um, be mindful and have checkpoints with yourself to know where your headspace is at, where your trajectory is going. Because in the tech industry, it can get exhilarating. The energy and the innovation it is. Yeah. It is crazy, right? We move at light speed. But um this but we're only humans and there's only 24 hours 7 days a week. Um and so I do a lot of journaling. I do a lot of checking with myself just to understand am I going on the right trajectory? Am I doing the right things that I, what I believe in? Um and am I working together with the right people and building the right team together with me? So um Again, I I feel very very blessed and appreciative that there's a lot of good people that I surround myself with who has supported me from start till now and I'm excited to see where I can work together with them from years onwards to serve the MSME market. What are your one advice that you can give to our viewers out there uh who is now trying to to be successful as successful as you? First off, Nick, thanks. Uh, <laughs> appreciate that the the compliment. Um I think just stay curious, stay foolish, stay hungry. Um always think that think of how can you create value to the community, to the world out there. Um we've been invested by a com- by a pretty prominent company called Y Combinator and we practice its philosophy quite 
rapidly and often in our company culture and we and it is we build product that people love and so as a reminder to myself as well am i doing things am i building things and creating things that people would love that's meaningful for the people that i serve thank you so much thank you thank, thank you for you. having me i think me. we have learned a lot today thank you so much for sharing thank you for having me hopefully i could uh, sit on the other side and ask you some <laughs> questions in the future there's lots to learn from you maybe, as well maybe maybe yeah <laughs>